Hello and welcome to our tutorial on how to use your fold scope. So the parts that you'll need for this tutorial are a folded fold scope and one pre-made slide. If you haven't folded your fold scope yet, you might want to watch our first tutorial where I show you how to do that. And if you don't have a pre-prepared slide, you might actually want to watch our next tutorial first, which shows you how to prepare a slide using materials provided in the kit. The first step to using your fold scope is inserting the slide. Fold scope accepts standard slides of one inch by three inches and about one millimeter thick. And it can accept glass slides or paper slides that you can make yourself. In order to insert, we begin by pushing it through this hole at the bottom of the fold scope. I like to begin at an angle and flatten out as I push in. Um, as you're pushing in, make sure that the edge of the slide as well as the cover slip don't get caught on any of the pieces of paper or the plastic pieces of the lenses that may be protruding in this area. When you get to the top, you're going to have to insert the slide through a tight slit. If we fold, flip the fold scope over and I zoom in, you can actually see a uh, slit right here. And this is where the fold scope is going to exit as you push it through. Now this part may be difficult the first time, but should get easier over time as the slit loosens. So we're going to push it through the slit and continue until the sample is in the center of the slide stage such that you can easily navigate it with the lens. Once you have your slide inserted, then you can learn how to pan or move around the sample. So you pan by placing your thumbs on these two trapezoids here and here and moving them together in unison to move it up and down and left and right. Make sure that you don't twist the slide stage. It's best if you keep it um, flat or horizontal and move your thumbs together. And that's panning. Now let's look at focusing. Focusing uh, is achieved by placing your thumbs on these two tabs and either pulling your thumbs apart while keeping the full scope flat or pushing your thumbs together while keeping the full scope flat. What this does is it um, flexes the strip that goes from one thumb to the other thumb that holds the lens. And when you flex the strip, it moves the lens closer to or further away from the sample, which brings it in and out of focus. Now that you know how to pan and focus, we're ready to view samples with our fold scope. So to view the sample, bring it up to your eye such that your eyebrow is touching the fold scope and align the lens with your eye. Now point the fold scope towards a light source and pan and focus as described in the previous steps. You should be able to find your uh, sample and then focus in on the details. If you wear eyeglasses, then you may want to take them off while using the fold scope as they could obstruct your view, but it shouldn't affect your ability to use the fold scope. Picking the right light source can have a big impact on the quality of your image. Typically, you want to find a bright light such as the sun or an indoor fluorescent lamp. However, it can be variable from light source to light source, so you probably want to try several until you find one that gives you the best image. Make sure to watch our next video where we show you how to make your own paper slides.